Uh, welcome to the new video of java fx so in this video we are going to discuss some important facts which was asked from some of my students uh, while uh, developing their java fx project they face some issues so they highlighted those issues so i'm going to just explain those uh, issues how to solve those things okay uh, so the first thing what uh, one of the student asked was uh, how to have one separate fxml file then how to rename those things then how to call other sample fxml or other fxml files so in this normal scenario when we are creating a new wi window or new uh, project we are getting three files main java controller java and sample fxml the main issue what they face is how to rename those files fxml file and how to create a one more fxml file and how to call that fxml file through main java file okay so the first thing you can do uh, we'll try to rename this sample fxml file there is there are two ways from here you can go rename file and you can rename the file or else from the main hierarchy you can go to sample fxml there is a factor called refactor then you can go to the rename and give the name so in this case i'm going to give the name as new uh, one fxml so i'm going to refactor then you can see the my na name of the file is being changed from here and here also in the main hierarchy also so then uh, you can see in the main java file here also this is small changes has happened why this file is calling the new one fxml file so this is our main file where the main java file is calling this new FXML. so then the next part uh, what we have to do is we want to create a one more fxml file so how to create one more fxml file you can go to the sample you can go to the new and you can select fxml file then you can give a new name as we will give uh, second okay so then it will create a one more fxml file which we can create the inter faces okay then if we go to the scene builder and you can see there is interface with an anchor pain as the base so then i can add some more elements to here i'm going to add the pain and then no other pain i'll add some uh, text so i can add a label here so to identify uh, page what we have created so I'm going to give it as a second page so then I'll increase the font size also so then we know this is our second page okay uh, so we have created uh, one more fxml file so how to create the fxml file is by the sample you can go to the new from the new you can select fxml file okay so then uh, the issue what we have is how to call this second java file through our main java file so in the news if the normal scenario if we run the file we will be getting only the main file so if it is building we'll check we are getting this main file main file main new one dot fxml file which is created itself from the system so this reason for that is in the main java file you can see this resource which is getting from the fxml loader is this new one dot fxml file so if we want to call this second fxml file the second fxml file from the main file so you can change the name here second dot fxml file and so then uh, if you are running the uh, file you can see uh, like this you will be getting the second page as the loaded file what what is the changes we have done is we have initialized this second dot fxml file to our main loader path so it will be then calling the second fxml file so if you want navigation between these pages a video which i have already created and uploaded to the my channel you can go through that video and check how to navigate between the 
pages so uh, while doing this thing if you are going to get some errors just you have to go and check whether in your second fxml file uh, whether this fx controller path is assigned with the sample dot controller if not uh, if you have initialized like if it is automatically going to be initialized with the sample dot the file name uh, which is another controller file so you have to check whether it is going to initialize it to the correct path if it is not in the correct path you will be getting some errors so make sure that you have changed the fx controller path also here to the same controller file what we have okay so those are the things you should know when uh, handling the things so how to navigate to the page to which page you should go the main thing is you should know from here you can go to the current or the uh, uh, you you are wanted page from a uh, change in the uh, URL address from here so what are the things you should know how to refactor or how to rename the file then how to create a new file going from the sample go to new and you can create a new fxml file then you can uh, design your interface from uh, fxml file then you should make sure that this fx controller is again initialized to the same controller file if not if you are going to have one more controller file so you should have a separate controller file for that uh, fxml page also then what you have to do is you can go to the main java file then you can initialize the uh, path of the second fxml file here then you can load the uh, your new interface in the main scenario so if you want to be uh, navigate between these pages there is one separate video which is already in the youtube channel you can go to that video and check it out and then you can understand how these navigations things between pages uh, also so then the next question which uh, came from some students was uh, how to take user inputs from the uh, CMD and how to put those user inputs which is taken from text field from the UI and again how to put it back to the CMD okay uh, so again I'll change this to my normal path new one dot fxml uh, so if I run it you can see the normal interface there is a click button so in this click button what will happen if I click me you can see enter the name is given so when I enter the name you can see it will appear in the again my interface so how this is going to work is you can see in the controller file what I have done is I am having a separate label uh, for the printing of the word and I am having an enter button so when I click the enter button or when I click the button what will happen is this click me function will be called through the fxml file to controller java file so this function will be called then there we have already initialized a scanner class so from system out dot println we are going to enter this names and this will be print in the uh, command line so from the command line you can give a name so it will be scanned by the scanner then what we are going to do as discussed in the uh, previous videos also we are going to use a setter for this set the text of the label so what I'm going to do is set the text of the label to hello plus this name which was taken from the command prompt okay so the next one most of the developers asked from me was how to take a user input from the user and how to print it back to the command line so what to have to do is so I'll go to the same interface and I'll have a uh, one text field okay I took a test field so uh, I have already initialized one element from there uh, in the controller file so I can give the ID also as df1 okay path is initialized then what you have to do is when you are running you when I click the button you should print the sentence back to the command prompt so what you should do what are the changes you should do uh, so in this I don't have I don't need any scanner class uh, what should I do first thing is uh, uh, 
I will take string new equal I am going to get that value from the my text field tf1 dot get text as we already discussed in the last videos how to use setters and getters so here I am using a, a getter and I am going to get the text from the tf1 and I am going to print it to the controller but it's very easy task then I will put it to print ln uh, I am going to print the, the text plus what is the text it's new so my variable name is fine I have initialized tf1 also elements are also fine we can save it and check the running okay so I have changed the name uh, to the name uh, like uh, giving a different name so I we cannot use the new as a keyword because new is a keyword which is used by the Java so I have just given a uh, change the name of the uh, string to the name then uh, we can run it and see what is going to happen so here I am having a one uh, text field so if I will give some value and if I click you are going to get the text as the text is they shown so you should uh, know these changes so you should initialize uh, the uh, all these fields uh, correctly uh, what uh, the elements what you need for the uh, interfaces then from the interfaces you can initialize these fx ids correctly if you go you can uh, give the uh, given initialize fx uh, uh, ids also then from the click me these things we have already discussed for elements these things you can correctly initialize then you can see when I click the button so that text will be taken from the text field then we'll put it to the command line so this is the command line where we can see the the text is what is the value which we have given so if we change this text something then if we click me again then you can see the text is taken from the text field and put it into the command line so how this is how the system is going to work so these are the some questions which was highlighted from some of the uh, students so I hope uh, this video will help you to figure it out the issues you have while doing your tutorials and other application works